what is up you guys I am in the beautiful state of Michigan home of the Detroit Pistons the bad boys so let's get into it this is Seth Leroy hustle adventures must go cargo in the building but yeah it's been a it's been a rough week but Apparently what happened is they said like something happened with the boards were hacked. I don't know. My wife has been on the boards too, um, looking for them. And uh, we've had so many opportunities, but the cheap's going freight, or the cheap's going freight. The freight is going cheaper apparently because that happening to the board, I guess, like makes it to where like people will take whatever they can get. And then too, I heard that March, the beginning of March is usually the slow time, but I don't know if any of that's not true. Let me know, because I don't know. That's just what I'm being told, you know? But uh, I'll keep you guys posted. I just hung out here for a little bit. I'm right by Detroit. I'm 45 minutes from Detroit. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you guys posted on what's going on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I just thought real quick, like I'm gonna do a real video of this, like what you need um like a starter kit type thing but like i'll just go through some of the stuff while i'm sitting here waiting on loads like we've been getting a lot of offers but okay i i bring mouthwash i got electric toothbrush that just takes a battery because we have electric one at home and i like it i got my baby powder stay fresh i got toothpaste um you know what i'm saying i got you know what else i got fishing lures that's a must i'm just kidding but you know i got my soda right there i got my bed you know pillows you know i got my cover uh all my stuff that i use to cover my my area my this my windshield guard my frost guard you know you got a clipboard i'm just doing a real quickly short one while i'm just sitting um i got my bluetooth which is great phone calls stuff like that portable charger one of my favorite things that I learned real quick, especially if you're dealing with the cold. I know that season's about to be over, but even at night, like, because I, I keep shows on and then I set an alarm, but you want this. You want to keep your phone juiced up, you know what I mean? Because you never know. Um, vape, you got to bring your vape, even though I quit for five years. I quit cigarettes and everything, but unfortunately I vape. Sunglasses. I wear my big stupid ones because, you know, my glasses, but I'm just trying to go through some of the stuff, you know, I got things that you could sit on to be comfortable, but I don't, you know, I got my peanut butter, I got my bread, you know, that's like good backup food too. Like I ate my one big meal a day, but it's always good to have that stuff. Um, windshield washer fluid, um, what's it called? Antifreeze. Um, what else I got back there? The tire stuff for like if you have flat tires, because I learned real quick. I ha luckily that gas station had it. Um, is there anything else that I could just think of? This is just a rough overview because I get a lot of people who are like, "What do I need as a starter kit?" But it's really like to me, I've told people two straight up straps. But like all this stuff, you'll have to figure out on the road of what you what you need. But I just thought I'd give an overview. This guy for the the big strap when you got a second one, whatever this tool is, I don't even know. But I'm gonna go in the back and just show you some of the stuff I keep on me. Real quickly, let's go in the back here. This is flex fuel, but I do not use that. But just so you guys know too, mine is a 2013 Ford 350 Conaline um, Extended. I get asked that a lot. I mean, I'll do, probably when it's nicer and I'm gonna do more videos, so okay. I got my little strap right there. That's just for the back, because I know I get the door too. My big strap, that's my safety strap, my big guy. He's the guy that keeps me safe so it doesn't slide back because I had stuff slide back and my door handle got messed up. I just gotta take the time to fix it. And then I got this, boom, an extra little strap. This is from an old pallet. But anyways, this is what I keep. My big strap for pulling out the second pallet. My fishing pole is a need. You need fishing poles. Um, I got, my dolly, I haven't had to use it, but then sometimes if something, like when I've done three pallets, because I can fit three pallets in here sideways, I have to move this and then I just set it on top of the pallets. I got a socket set, I got wrap. You need wrap. I learned that because when, you know, I'm used to being, you know, a straight truck driver that had all that in it. Uh, these blankets, because some, some, I haven't had any, will need moving blankets. I got 
my um I'm not gonna pull it all out, but I got some rope too, just in case. Um, I got my drill. I have a whole set of like a big set of bits in here too, but I'm not gonna pull everything out because I have it all situated. Um, but yeah, so let me see, that's about it for me. And then I got this extra strap that just holds everything in there. Um, I was debating on bringing uh, my big, uh, what's it called? thing that lifts the car i can't even think right now you know it's been a, i've been out for a little bit it's been a it's been an interesting week as you guys see but those are some of the things just you know i get asked like starter kit stuff so i just thought i would uh just say but to me if you're trying to hustle get some straps that's pretty much it get some good straps i know e-track and all that people talk about but i just haven't i'm just hustling or i'm at home with the family um but yeah, I just thought I'd go through that. But anyways, the next time I see you guys, I'll let you know if I got one or what's going on. <clears throat> well, you guys know your boy. I can't just sit around. I, I'm going into this Target workout. I go to the Targets too because they have Starbucks, especially well when it's getting towards the evening because, you know, in case you get that overnight one, you've got to be ready. Um, one that they we, we were pretty much going to get, it seemed like, again they ended up saying they covered it internally i could see brokers doing that just saying that when really they just you know waited and looked for want a what i got two free home theaters on my job i'm not showing up with them it's all paid for free home theaters yeah you know what i'm talking about right like i, I mean yeah. like, i got them free off my job it's like a That is very trippy. This guy's got free home theaters. Who are you talking to? I'm a YouTuber. Oh, shit. Sure. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, dude, I do the installs on the whole order guy. Well, that was different. Welcome to Detroit. Uh, I saw somebody doing that too when I lived out in Florida, but I told him I respect the hustle. You know, he said free at first. And, you know, he had, uh, but I know what he meant. He meant just, like, you know, letting him go real cheap. He had the paperwork and stuff for everything. But what was funny was like, I actually bought one of those entertainment systems and I was a boomer about it like I couldn't figure out I tried forever and I'm pretty decent with technology as you see I edit videos but I couldn't even do it I ended up returning it but I tried for like two months and it just sat in my house not even being used on my on my flat screen but uh no shout out to him I forgot his name or I don't know if I caught his name but shout out to him for the hustle you know and so, and so then I told him that's actually because then he said what are you YouTube I said I actually hustle adventures told him my name maybe he'll check it out but if so he'll be on it at least his voice will be on it i don't think i recorded him i'm big on not like flat out just recording people like when i go to businesses too i try to not you know like not get their face and then i don't know because you never know who wants to and who doesn't but anyways so that was interesting i'm gonna keep walking around working out see if I can't get an overnight run. If not, I'm heading to Chicago to be closer to home and then in the morning, if nothing, getting home. Like I've said before, like obviously this is our main hustle. We never wanna not make what we want a week, but also we do have a decent amount of backup money that we worked hard for and earned. So it's not do or die if we have a slow week, you know? But I'll keep you guys posted. Let's work out, let's start, let's, let's get some more miles in. What's up you guys? So I'm just waiting on my receipt. Um, I'm getting some espresso. Oh, I got some. I just need my uh, receipt because it's tax deductible. Um, so I'm going home. We had a run going to Chicago. We had a run going to North Dakota. Sorry, we were looking at, oh no, it's okay. Good Thank night. you. Yeah, you too. So what me and my wife we were we were talking about it deciding because what i was gonna do and i was dead set on it i was gonna go to chicago 
you know, was just going to go there, wake up in the morning, see if I can get something back. You know what I mean? Just something to even pay the gas, you know. But okay, like, like, like usually we've been making 1200 a week, um, going home Thursday at about four, I'd be about home. And one time, the, the last week we did two days, I made $900. Now, the reason I still was going to add this as a vlog at first, I wasn't, I was just going to end it there, but I wanted to add this and just talk about how random the industry can be and how you can't let it shake you. You know, you can't like. You know, like obviously we get upset or we're just like, you know, we had 15 bids out today. We got one of them, it was that local one, but after that we had 14 more bids. Um, and they just wanted dirt cheap today. So then we started getting dirt cheap with it. We're like, okay, 75 cents, 70 cents, still just dirt cheap. I don't know what guys were running at in the Midwest. I don't know if them people with lower cost of living down south are up here, which is fine. But also, uh, my favorite is dispatcher. Shout out, Joe. He was showing me that March is the worst because he's been doing this forever. He's been driving for like 10 years. Um, but he was showing me that his figures were always bad at the beginning of March. I don't know why. And he said that he has an analyst guy who's been doing it forever who said, yeah, the beginning of March is the worst. So he was showing me his figures too when he was driving. He doesn't anymore. But so anyways, I guess March is bad. And I guess some system like got hacked or something went down. I don't know if anyone else was affected. But the thing is, we were still getting bids. And then like I was like, because my original plan was I was going to go to Chicago, sleep for the night, wake up, see what I could get going home. And me and my wife, that was our plan. We were dead set on it. Then I started thinking, and I'm like, you know what? Because the kids were voice messaging me. Oh, Dad, you know, when are you coming home? And it was just a decision, like, but I never make decisions without my wife agreeing. And, you know, I say this with no ego, but we've worked our asses off for eight years, and we have a good amount of money for backup. And the only reason I say that is that's why, like, when we bought this outright, we started this whole business it was to have this freedom to be like, I'm going home. And that's why we like running the Midwest. The Midwest has been amazing the last four weeks. We made our goal of 1200. And then the one time we worked two days, we made our 900 minimum goal. That's our minimum goal. Cause the 1200 is like extra spending money and saving money. And then the 900 is like all our bills are covered. Um, so with this one, we'll run them numbers and we'll see what happened. But I wanted to add this into the video of just showing like, you know, cause like, yeah, it's always, I'm, you know, me, I'm amped. I, and I do have fun with it. I love it. Love not having a boss. Cause you guess who, guess who decided to go home right now? Me and the real boss, my wife. No. Um, so I still wanted to talk and just talk about it and talk about how you do go through ups and downs, but and and when you're about to get a run there was some to minnesota there was some to north dakota there was good ones good ones but just didn't pan out so that's why like too my wife even was on the board yesterday too and finding them and she got one and then I'll, this happens quite a bit people who've been doing this a while probably know and then i was gone i drove further from cleveland and then i was waiting here in detroit and then i was already laid out and the night before that i didn't get good sleep tonight i did i got or last night I got really good sleep. So to me, I'm like, I'm just ready to go home. Like there are factors where I'm like, you know what? We're not dying for our money. Like we're good, you know, from our hard work over all these years, but we also never want to go down. We always want to elevate, but I wanted to, cause this, this channel is supposed to be inspirational, which I want. And people tell me it is, which is cool. I didn't even expect that. I did want to put out some inspiration, some motivation, you know, not needing to work for the man all your life. Cause that was something we talked about forever. My cousin who I'm really close to Steve, shout out Steve. He always would say too, I just don't, he said when we started this, he's like, I just didn't expect you guys to work like you just going to work every day for somebody and being a robot. Like, and I would feel like I was looking from the outside always when I'd be having these jobs and I would just think like, is this my life? Do I make Don money? I'm just using a random name. I make Don money, but I give 50, 60 hours to Don so he gets to his goals. And it started like really getting to me and you guys, if you heard our story, it's long on there, but like all the, all the things that happened to where I finally was like, I am done working for people. 
but that's why I still because at first I was just not going to have this be a vlog but I was like you know what it'd be perfect to just talk about it and discuss like the decision making and the freeing feeling that like because it's always in my head that like I can just go home like it's not even like I'm being forced to do that that's why it's different like when I do my super long expediting runs overnight and stuff like that or like something that's hard I'm always like well I'm doing it by choice you know what I mean like it's it's just a different feeling because like if I'm working hard or busting my ass it's for me and my family before it was like I still was a hard worker every job I had but I was busting my ass for that man and obviously in turn great I'm always grateful I was grateful for every job I had I'm a felon I had bad jobs and got all the way up to 20 an hour with as a felon but what, why I say that, and well, 24 an hour once I got my CDL job, but why I'm saying that, I started at 18 there, and it, after four or five months, they said they never had someone get to 24 that fast. And that's why I say that, because I'm telling you how hard of a worker I am. But then that's when I'm like, yeah, I'm a hard worker, but I was just so sick of working for somebody. And that was the goal. So I'm gonna start driving. I got the espresso. Dude, it was way cheaper at Panera. I'm about to be finding Panera. I was like, what? But I just wanted to talk about it like, yeah, there's ups and downs, but perception is perception is stronger than reality. So if you perceive it like, you know what, this is okay because, you know, and like I said, I just say that with no ego, but we, we have a decent amount of money in the bank, but that was from saving. We sold houses. Um, like we sold our personal homes and kept upping the game. We have a, a bigger house now, like it's a five bedroom, but like we actually want to decrease it. We were even talking about maybe moving into a trailer because that's where we started our journey when we started elevating our life when I got sober, if you heard our story. But like, I want to like, that's how much we are. I was like, I'll get a three bedroom trailer just to do it so that like, you know, to keep building, um, move quiet, you know, just like, not saying our house is like that. I, I mean, move silent. Like, you know, we just do our thing and I just want to keep, like, we want to even downsize our house, but I love the storage in it. We actually just bought a fence too. So life is good, but definitely we were frustrated. Like we were hot, not like at anybody, like saying we were hot, just that like how many bids. And then even this one bid that was like, it was not a good run and they still, didn't get back to us because we're noticing that brokers will sit there and not get back to you and then they because they're looking for a cheaper run and this was a late run and a a bad like 8 a.m like there'd be no time to sleep other than like an hour or two whatever in between whatever but which i'm fine with but it was the way like how they'll just sit and wait that's not cool so then i told them never mind on that one nope this driver has some respect for himself you're not going to sit there and like hope you get another bid when you need to tell me so that I know that I could get them hours of sleep instead. You get it. But anyways, I'm getting off topic. But anyways, I hope everyone just, but when you do this, make sure you save up at that job you hate. I keep saying that because like, that's big to me. Uh, save up. Cause I've had so many people who say, yeah, I got a lease or I got, I did this or I didn't have my funds to where like they, you know, they got a van payment and they got insurance and insurance and then they go work for somebody at one of those whatever you know places you drive for which is fine i'm not saying that's bad some people love it if you love it that's cool i'm not hating on that but if people want this life like people tell me so many people have hit me up who drive for companies and go dude i want to do what you're doing but that's why i'm saying neither one is better than the other i'm not saying that i'm just saying if you want to get to this goal save up your money and buy that van you know, save a hundred of uh, a paycheck away. You know, if that's how passionate you are, take a couple years, but you know what? You could get to that goal. Um, and this was not my dream. It just stumbled upon like when I truck drived and then I started looking into this, that's why I got into it. And we're killing it, making more than when I did that. But this week was rough, but you know what? It is what it is. And I still wanted to post and talk about it. But anyways, I'm rambling at this point. I'm gonna get driving. I'm gonna get home because I said so. And that's not ego. I'm just saying that was a good, it's a good feeling to just say, I'm done working. I'm going to go home and see my kids and wife. But anyways, you guys have a beautiful one. I have a blessed one. Perception is stronger than reality. Keep on hustling. Keep hustling. Let's go. Let's go.